I want to talk about rage bait. Yes. Okay. Have you ever been baited into rage? I've been Christian? um, I've been uh, thirst baited. <laughs> like um, I was on Reddit uh, earlier, and there was a picture of a lizard with like a big ass. Ooh. And I fell right for it. I'm like, I, I like that lizard. You oh, see that? Know. You seen that video of that frog that yawns and then crawls into a hole, and its ass is just fat as fuck? <laughs> no, I don't think I know this one. Well, you're missing out, apparently. Apparently, we, we got the same vibe going here. I guess so. Anyway. Nobody, nobody look at my search history. Oh, God. Okay, so, so Rage Bait, we, you take yeah. it, Kay. Okay. So, for the most recent product collection, or let, let's take this back a step. For pretty much any collection in the modern day and age, any runway collection, they will invite lots of famous people, celebrities, influencers, all these people, and they will do like a red carpet leading into the show where these various influencers wear pieces from the new collection. And it's just another way to market them and get more yeah. brand buzz going. Yes. Um, so they invited this one influencer here and gave her a high somebody calls it out as twenty one hundred dollar uh, jumpsuit. You know, what? actually, let me go over a bit and we'll look at the original here okay kush yeah so it started off as this this gray uh jumpsuit i think it looks like a one piece right am i yeah yeah yeah. it looks like a like a prada pajama and she uh she's a little choppy choppy a little tiktok di hui type of hack <laughs> yeah and cropped off the top so it's like a, a cropped button down made some short shorts out of it and made uh they're not jutes because it wasn't denim they're more uh uh jumps jumps boots yeah yeah she's got like a crop top her her uh her you know her midriff is exposed she's it's like a skirt of some sort i guess Mm -hmm, now mm -hmm. uh and then she she put the pants on her boots (laughs) Um, so We're leaning into it here before we talk about the the greater implications of this and maybe some of the behind the scenes stuff that's happening underneath. Let's quickly give in to the rage bait. Yeah. Are you sufficiently enraged? How do you feel about this concept generally? Oh, this look is boring. Um, (laughs) Listen, I think that you can do whatever you want with clothes and more power to you. Mm -hmm. You know, wreck them. Do what you want. But uh, (laughs) it's like the my feeling of this is all she is is body. She is a body. So, yeah. (laughs) Oh, if I show my like how skinny I am, it's sexier. Mm -hmm. But like this look looks like something that Karl Lagerfeld did at like Chanel in like the 90s. And it does not look like something that Mucha and my boy Raph are doing Mm -hmm. at Prada. it, it looks it like just, one of those things. I don't know if you watched Project Runway back in the day, but it looks like one of those things where they're like, you have 30 minutes to wow us. And yeah, they're just exactly. like, chop, 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 snip, 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 throw it on like, okay, done. You know? Yeah. It, yeah. Like literally this is, and, <laughs> and you know, Tim Gunn was like, make it work. And, <laughs> and this is all you came up with. No, I, and, and, and like that's a brass tax. I think that it's just not a, an exciting thing. And I don't think it's like in the, it, 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 it's just the unfortunate part about it is that you decided to modify your clothing, but mm-hmm. I think they did a better job originally. I think it was weirder and more yes. interesting when they put this tall, skinny person in like a baby onesie that's mm-hmm. like gray wool. I thought that's more interesting. I think what you you. did is you're trying to thirst trap me and you're not a thick lizard. So I'm not interested. (laughs) You're not a a cocaine bear, which is where my, my sexual interests lie right now. We'll get to it later. So Uh, I want to talk. So let's pull back the curtain a little bit here. Because there may be some stuff that people don't realize now that we've been sufficiently rage baited. Let's talk about how that is exactly the intent, and they went into it with the foreknowledge that that's yeah. what was going to happen. Because Almost this is a new season Prada piece. They give these to people to wear to walk their 
red carpets to their fashion shows, and they don't let anybody walk down that red carpet unless they've signed off on it. Yeah. So this was absolutely a marketing exercise conceived between both the influencer and Prada themselves because they thought it was going to get people mad. And it did. It divided people very much. And we're kind of giving into it by just talking about it. Yeah. But I think it's interesting that kind of like subvertising that's going on, you know, the, the trying to manipulate the populace. OK, yeah, 100 percent. I mean, like at the end of the day, they're giving away clothes because for publicity. That's the point. Yeah. So like any news is good news. You you could have you could have like shit and throw it in the garbage or whatever. It's like when everybody was trying to burn their Nikes and it's like you just made Nike trending. They <laughs> they don't care. Do whatever you want. Yeah. Um, yeah, almost certainly. Like, do I think that Raf and Mucho signed off on it? I don't think that they have the time to deliberate over every influencer. No. Um, no. It, 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 and if I can get off any kind of quip or burn, I just mm -hmm. want to say that your idea was boring. And I agree. I like your idea of the, the shitting. Yeah. I would have liked if she was on the runway and went like, <laughs> oops. Yeah, that you know? would have, and then like it's a a onesie, so you like see it <laughs> in the butt. That would have been hard. That and... would have been the fire modification. Is like sewing in and creating one of those like butt flaps. Yeah, yeah. And, and she just like... like opens it up on the red carpet. Hold on, K Killian, I'm hearing something. Uh, yeah, we were just canceled from YouTube, uh, and all of our viewers um have to left. Because... We've been scrubbed. <laughs> We've been we were talking about diarrhea fashion, but <laughs> sorry, that's what that's what the next wave is. That's what avant garde is. It's about talking about things that nobody else will. Why do you think Rick Owens popularized the drop crotch? Mm -hmm. You got to make room for something. Am I right? And that's diarrhea. <laughs> uh, but do you think that we just went right into this influencer's sick, twisted dreams? I mean, most likely, I assume that's what the inside of every influencer's head is like. Yeah. That's just my assumption. Uh, and it's true because I'm an influencer. We're influencing right now. We're actually doing it. That's kind of that's kind of wild.